hey hey welcome back to the channel so guys today we're going to be reacting on the dons of a finnish sauna so i really love to know the do's and don'ts of a finnish sauna yeah so let's check this out don't forget to like the video and share the video let's see what he has for us hey the fellow travelers mark here with Walter's world today we're in helsinki finland the home of sauna yeah. and today we're going to talk about are some of the don'ts of going to a finnish sauna and we're going to start off with the name don't call it sauna. There's no sawing. This isn't woodworking here. It's sauna. Okay, you gotta sauna. say it the right way. Otherwise, the locals will be like, dude, it's sauna. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, the second don't I have to tell you is, um, don't bring your modesty, or I should say, don't expect to wear your clothes or your swim trunks when you go to the sauna. The oh. sauna is all natural. You're going in there naked with your towel. Okay, so don't be weirded out because you will do that. Now. Some places will let you wear a swimsuit in there if you feel really uncomfortable, but it's usually naked when you're here, naked, so be yeah. ready for that. But I will tell you, the next don't is, don't forget, it is only one sex at a time. So, men go oh. with men and women go with women. If you're going to be at like a hotel or maybe an apartment complex or maybe you're going to be at one of the public ones, usually it's separated men and women, so there might That's be different perfect. times. I know I was in Turku in the hotel I stayed at. They had women for from 6 to 8 p.m. and men were from 8 to 10 p.m. because it was separate, okay? Because I think another important thing you need to know about sauna here and a don't of sauna in Finland is don't sexualize the sauna because it's not. It's just part of life here. It's like at your, your house, you take it's a shower, regular you, thing, you, I guess. you know, brush your teeth. It's just part of life. There's nothing weird about it or sexual about it. It's just how it is. And Finland, that's how it is. So no one really gets weirded out by it. So you shouldn't either. Now let's talk about when you're actually going to go into the sauna and some uh, actual serious don'ts you need to know before you go in. One, don't forget to take a shower before you go in the sauna. You don't go in dry Very like important. this, okay? If you're like, oh, I've been walking a lot today. See, in the city, I'm, I'm sweaty. I'm be fine. No, you want to shower, get all the sweat off. You want to shower your body and get your hair wet. Get all of your hair wet, okay? It's really important that you get yourself all wet and damp when you go in because that helps it work better and it's a little bit safer for you as well. Another thing is don't wear any jewelry in there especially metal jewelry take that off your you'll be fine your fingers, just leave it there because finland is uh you don't have to worry about your safety here it's totally safe right so you'll be okay but i will say is when you're going places they'll usually give you like a little locker a little space to put your stuff so you can put your clothes and your jewelry and things there so you're not worried about it because you will have nowhere to put anything when you're going into the sauna okay? yeah now one thing you'll notice is when you go to sauna a lot of times it's a friend thing like your buddies go together but one thing i will say even if you're drinking and having a good time when it comes to sauna one, you don't take any glass bottles into the sauna, okay? Because that can get dangerous there. And actually, I recommend don't bring any drinks or anything, food or anything like that into the sauna because when you're in sauna, you're there to focus on the sauna. And one thing is when you're there, you'll really relax when you're there. And I will say, this is one thing and my I host family is always warned me about. Like, Look, it can get really hot in those saunas. I mean, you really control the heat very much when you're pouring that water on there because it can get really, really high, especially when you're a private one, like at your summer cottage or something, or out in the islands or something. So you do need to be careful, but don't, don't breathe on yourself really hard because you can actually hurt yourself. So do be careful with that. And you might be asking yourself, Mark, why are you filming a video about sauna out the Senate Square in front of the cathedral? Why aren't you in a sauna doing that? Well, that's another thing you should know. You don't do selfies and pictures and stuff in the sauna, okay? It's not a thing there. Everyone's naked. It's a personal space, but also it's a personal time. And also your device is not going to like that humidity in the sauna. It's not going to do well for it, okay? And I think another thing is important when you're thinking about going into sauna, it isn't you go in once and you're done. You can go in and out and come back because sometimes it gets really, really hot. And you're like, oh, I need to step out. Yeah, you can't. Exactly. It's not a competition when you're in there. Now, some people will do it as a competition. I do not recommend that because that can be very unsafe. But if you're getting too high, like, you know what, I'm going to step out. You get in the shower, you shower yourself off again to cool off. Very or even better, if you're like in the lakes or in the archipelago islands, you go and you jump into the lake and you jump into the water. Or in the summertime, you go and roll in the snow afterwards. Oh, it's so good. And then you head back in and go back into sauna. That's okay. You can go back in and, in and out. It's not like you stay in and then you're done. No, no, no. It doesn't work that way. Okay. You can go in and out. And I think there's a couple like... Um, courtesy things you need to remember also in terms of don'ts. One, don't forget to use your towel to sit on because don't nobody want your bare butt on the sauna bench, okay? <laughs> so that towel they give oh, you, that's that correct? Sit Please on, let me right? know. Ooh, gross, nobody wants your butt crack on the sauna bench. And another one, which is a very nice thing to do is don't forget to refill the sauna bucket 
when you're going out. So if you notice that the bucket of water is getting low, take the wooden bucket out and there'll be like a spigot right outside the sauna and you fill that up with water so then people can use it and put it on the rocks again. That's just like a nice, this nice little courtesy thing when you're looking at your sauna time. And then another courtesy thing I think is important is don't be loud in the sauna because here in Finland, it's very much a quiet culture. I mean, they're quiet, just quiet people and, and sounds very much a reflective lot. time. Now, if you're with your buddies by yourselves at a private one, yeah, it can get a little rowdy or whatever. But if you're at a public one or if you're at the hotel one or whatever, quiet, usually right? sauna is quiet, reflective, you know, thinking kind of time. Not loud, hey, how are you doing? It's not really a place where you kind of, you know, start small talk, okay? Where well, you're butt naked there like, hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, just not, this is not how it works, all right? But I gotta say, my last one for you is don't skip out on going to sauna when you're here in Finland. It is part of the culture here. I mean, oh, this is as is, is Finnish though. as, I don't know, a language that no one can speak. I mean, this is something you have to do when you're here. It's a fantastic experience. It will help you understand the culture better. And what's awesome is you feel amazing afterwards, okay? So I hope you have a great time here in Finland and definitely check out the sauna. If you want more, we've got the Don'ts of Finland, the Don'ts of Helsinki, what to eat in Helsinki all on our website yes on our website this was extremely beautiful and i feel like he took his time to explain better if you want to oppose please let me know in the comment section the words he made mention of do you think is genuine and what do you think about them let me know in the comment section right and i have a question someone made mention of um the sauna and he said i'm feeling have over two million saunas please let me know how accurate that is on the comment section right but i think the sauna is one of the favorite parts I love about Finland and I feel like the sauna is therapeutic and you just go there relax you think properly or something I would really love to experience the sauna I hope I got that pronunciation right sauna I really love to experience it too because I've heard a lot about it and so many beautiful things to add up with right so this was actually a beautiful watch for me and I feel like it took his time to explain um, more and more and more which made it more interesting right so let me know your thoughts guys on the comment section if you're from finland have you experienced sauna have you gone into the sauna before what was your experience like on the comment section right i'll see you guys in my next video bye, -bye.